What's up guys, Xpel here and today I'm going to be sharing with you a video that I've been meaning to get to for a really really long time It's one of the videos that was suggested to me multiple times from you guys from my audience and uh, I want to I want to just jump into things So what this is is a video on my favorite jump spots and the best jump spots to give you an advantage in whatever situation you're in within blackout whether it be jumping on top of a roof of a building and figuring that whole thing out uh, that way you can get high ground on them and shoot down into them while they're in the building or coming out of the building or if you're just hopping on top of who knows like a fence or something like that it, it, there's always like a better way to do it than what a lot of people try and do so uh, today I'm gonna show you a ton and I mean a ton it's not gonna be like 10 it's not gonna be five it's not gonna be uh, 20 it, it, it's just gonna be a lot of jump spots within blackout uh, I'm gonna try and knock them out as quickly as I possibly can but it's gonna be a lot of information and it's gonna be pretty quick so if you get confused on any of them I'm gonna try and show each of them one once, twice, maybe three times, whatever it may be, uh, but we'll go from there. But either way, I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do go on to enjoy the video, it'd be greatly appreciated if you would slap that like button. You can also subscribe if you're new around here, as well as turn on that notification bell. That way you get notified every single time I post a video and or a live stream. Uh, you can join my Discord, links in the description down below, as well as follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook, and on all three of those platforms I post every single day with absolutely insane clips. Either way, I uh, hope you guys do, get, uh, do go on to enjoy, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump on into things. Okay guys, so here's the deal. Uh, the way this is going to work is we're going to start from the right side of the map. We're gonna start on the east side of the map and we're gonna work our way west. I'm gonna try and just give you as many as I possibly can as fast as I can. So right here, we're at Asylum. There's a way to get on the roof of the building. Um, you're gonna need this door, so if it's blo been blown off, it's physically not possible to get on the roof. Uh, so if I'm not wrong, you can jump right here and then you make your way around. You do not need grapples to get on top of this building. I'm not gonna tell you that it's easy to get up here but you do not need grapples to get up here so you get right over here and then you run and you jump and you can jump on the jump on the building right here so that's how you get on top of asylum so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get on top of all the buildings at asylum not just like main asylum but for example a lot of these you're going to end up using a strafe jump what that means is you run and you turn and jump at the same time now, this might be easier if you go into your options, you go to your blackout options, and you do uh, auto mount, which I guess is under controls, just kidding. Uh, auto mantle, if you have that turned on, it'll automatically do it for you. But I like to, where I where I use a, uh, an Astro C40 controller, I have buttons on the back of the controller, so I can run and jump sideways, and I can jump on top of these things a little easier. It's not cheating, <laughs> for the record, it's not cheating, uh, but it definitely does help. You can do the same thing to that building. Um, there is a way to go through the uh, the maze, and I'll see if I can show you it. But it's a little difficult. So right here, it's one of those things where you jump on the door. You gotta be like really careful. I have this bad habit of just like sliding off. You can just jump forward and jump on top of it. Um, here's another one over here. You can get on top of this building. It's really, it's less about getting on top of and more about getting inside. A lot of these are going to have to do with using doors. So right here, you use the door, you get right here, and you're able to go inside. So let's say they have the staircase blocked off with a guardian. Who needs to go through the staircase? You can just head in through the window. Now, the maze is a really tricky one. I'm not entirely sure when this is ever really going to come in handy, but I'm going to show you it anyway. Uh, what you want to do is jump here, jump up turn backwards and jump on top of this little piece and then you can make your way right here and if someone's like camping in here you'll be able to see them uh, you can also jump right here just to go straight to the center now the next spot can be used in pretty much any part of the map that has a jump spot like this one right here or uh, well not a jump spot a, uh, a garage like this one right here you'll be able to use this in pretty much any part of them uh, this one specifically you can do it from here and jump to the corner but uh, an easier way is every single one of them have this the only one that doesn't is there was one There's one right here, and you just go straight through it So that's that's the only one but you can get right here turn and well You don't even really it, it's one of those that you have to like jump 
and strafe to. Uh, in this one specifically, you can actually jump to that right there and jump on top. It's it's really not that hard, but you just have to get used to strafe jumping. Um, I used the button on the back of my controller, as I said just a minute ago, but I, I can use the X button. That's what I used for that one right there. Uh, so you can use that on multiple buildings throughout the map. Uh, just look for the air conditioners coming into the, the back of the buildings. Now, the next two that I'm going to show you are just a little bit more difficult than the, the past few. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. So what you're going to want to do is try and jump in that window right there. So you, if someone's got the staircase blocked off and there's no way for you to get up, this is a good way to do it. You can jump right here. If you have a grapple, obviously, like this video has nothing to do with the grapples, but you can jump and go to that window. It's Like I said, it's one of those that's a little bit more difficult, but if you can pull it off, very, very useful. Uh, and then we have another one right here. You can do the same thing to this building in the exact same way. I like to run right against the wall to try and get it. But like I said, sometimes it doesn't mantle properly and it can give your position away. So a lot of these are ones that you want to hit on your very first try. Um, while we're standing over here, I'm going to show you a, uh, a quick tip to get on top of pretty much any building without using a door. Uh, as long as they have like a, a, little, a little window right here. You see what I'm saying? So what you can do is you can get in these windows and you can turn and jump this this window is actually a little glitched as you can see i can't stand up right here uh so it's a little harder to do it right there right there we got it not as hard as i thought it was but uh it, it's one of those things it like i said it's a little harder to do it on those buildings now this one is another one that's uh like throughout the map there's multiple of these buildings uh, let's say you can go to the buildings here. You can go to the buildings across stuff like that But what you uh, what you can actually do is you can jump straight up into this window instead of having to go inside and sneak in So if you know they're on the roof You can literally jump in through that window go up right here and then jump through that window It's it's absolutely fantastic and absolutely beautiful uh, now another neat trick. I like to use uh, And a lot of people don't think about this is you can get on this right here and then jump up and get beside the person that's like camping waiting and uh, get a like a, a little you pull a sneaky on them. You know what I'm saying? Okay guys, so our next jump spot uh, once again, we have multiple of these buildings throughout the map Okay, uh, this one specifically we have another one right over there and you can uh, just get on top of these buildings Pretty easily you see the windows you look at it uh, pretty much like dead on you jump on it And you go but you have to do it the ones that are a little bit spaced out like this one right here uh, so you jump up on the building pretty easy pretty easy however this next one a little bit more difficult I don't actually recommend this way of doing it, but you can do it that way. You can get to the second floor by doing that. However, what I do recommend is if this door is open this way, or you can even do it yourself and open it up this way, you can actually just jump straight into this room and uh, once again, pull a sneaky on them. Or you can jump up here and shoot through the window. This one is a really good technique that I've done multiple times and squad wiped multiple teams by doing that uh, while I'm streaming. Just to show you guys some quick proof, and you can do this with any of the buildings in X Bell Estates, as we call it. Uh, I like to hop right here, and then these are perfect. They're perfectly straight, so it should be pretty easy just to turn, jump, and get on top. It's literally like one motion. You have to run, jump, and turn. I'll run, jump, and double press X uh, to jump again and get on the roof. It's, it's kind of difficult, but once you get it down pat... It gets a little easier, and I can't tell you how many games I've literally won because I've done that. Uh, just another quick heads up. We do have uh, this building right here. This is a good one, which you can find in multiple places on the map. Uh, you can have them here. You can have them here. You know, just a, a ton of these buildings that are relatively easy to get on top of. So let's say you come up the back side, and you got the door right there. Once again... Uh, you hop in through the window, I like to do, you open the door, and then you hop on top. Uh, you can do the same thing on the other side of the building, uh, but to be entirely honest, you don't even need to. So, if you're right here, you can actually, instead of going inside, what I like to do is I get right here, don't waste your jump, hold the corner, look straight up, double tap X, over and over, just tap X until you get up there, 
And then once you're right here, you can actually turn and jump and jump right there or you can just jump all the way to the top uh, Just in case you wanted to get all the way up there. So That's a really good one that I use Pretty much every day is just hopping on top of those buildings. It's very very useful And I've taught a ton of my subscribers how to do that and I'm sure that they've been winning games because of it now, this next one may seem very clear to a lot of you, but if you didn't know, you can actually mantle up a lot of the rocks within the map. Uh, it just comes down to actually hopping in the right spots. So, if you don't want to go around to where they think you're coming, and obviously this is just an example, you can do this the whole way up over here at Hydro Dam, right here. Um, you can actually, like, mount up on the rocks. Uh, a lot of the time just to get all the way up instead of going all the way around that way you're saving uh, yourself from going right where they think that you're going and you can you can get a, a sneaky on them I don't know why I keep using that but it, it, it's really just honestly perfect for this um, now that we're at train I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of spots that are really really good for train and a couple of them might you really might not know about them they're actually fantastic ways to get on top of a lot of the buildings and stuff like that but let's take for example the main train building so uh, you get right here and you line it up with the pole you jump right there and you're perfectly on easy peasy however you actually don't even need to do that you can just jump literally against the wall and it'll pull you up well I guess if you're not stupid like me um, you can't jump at these it bounces you off so you have to jump at a, a little bit of a, a different angle I guess but you can do that right there. You can do it on any part of the building. You can do it right here. Stuff like that. Pretty easy uh, if I do say so myself. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to get on top of the maintenance building over here for the trains. Um, another one of those that's actually pretty easy but you wouldn't think about it. So right here you have this little thing that's sticking off. What I like to do is you got to kind of jump at an angle and then keep tapping X on it. Now, you can jump right here. Uh, it, it messes up just a little bit because it tries to auto-mantle to that right there. Or you can just jump straight up, get a little cover right here, and you're all set. However, if you jump right here, you can actually head glitch if there's someone on the roof and get a really, really good shot on them. So this next jump spot used to be a lot, and I mean a lot, easier. So they changed it to where you jump just slightly lower uh, within blackout and it made it a lot more difficult to get into some of the jump spots And I didn't think this was possible for a long time But used to you could just jump and it'd pull you right up But that's not a thing anymore and you can do this on any building that's shaped like this one So you've got a door right here. Actually, I'm not even sure that you need the door You can actually just yeah, just in case the door is blown off if you get on the step and then turn and jump do that little side step thing it's perfect so you can do that right here as well uh, it is a little bit more difficult on this one as you just saw so you have to do it pretty much just perfectly you got to get right underneath it and hit it right at the peak I don't know if you saw that uh, but I was right at the peak right here uh, you get right underneath it turn jump and you've got it and you get these guys right here or what I like to do is if they have a guardian when you jump up move to the left move to the left right move to the left sneak over here and shoot on them through the windows and then you switch windows here wherever they go you have them you can even drop down right here if they try and run away absolutely perfect so this next one isn't much of a jump spot as it is helping you learn to jump properly when it comes to ladders how to mantle properly and how to get up ladders much much quicker within blackout so right here you could just walk up or you could even like you could just jump and get a little bit faster but what I like to do is ladders that are short uh, and you have to you have to know what ladders will do this ladders that are this short you can actually double tap X and mantle your way up I know that sounds crazy but you can so like I said jump double tap it and mantle up if you just sit there and like tap X over and over on those short short ladder ladders it'll really really help you out now, the next thing I want to do is show you how to get on top of any of the gas stations. And I mean on top of any of the gas stations. So, here we go. So, here we are. Do you want to get on this building or this building? Because you can get on both. So, you see these little, I don't know, tool sheds? I don't know what you'd call these. But regardless, you can use these. You mantle up right here. Turn and jump. It's literally that simple. However, 
on these next ones it's not as simple now not all of these actually do all of these spawn with those i think all of these spawn with those buildings but if you're trying to do it a little bit quicker and you know try and actually get on top of this building right off the rip you can use this one and then turn and jump and it's that simple on that as well or uh, if you're trying to hide from somebody that's in the building or sneak and shoot down on somebody that's like shooting out at your teammates, you can go there. Heck, you can even get on top of the sign right here. It's 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 really, really easy. Now, guys, this next one is very, very, very difficult, and I'm not joking about that. So you have to be very meticulous on what you do to get in this jump spot. I'm going to show you how to get on top of the building from inside of the turbine building so watch what i just did i came all the way over here came right to this side and you're gonna want to get on this railing right here wait for your jump to recharge then run jump and get on that it's it's kind of difficult i'm not gonna lie it's kind of difficult so you have to hit it just right uh and if you don't hit it just right uh you're just gonna miss over and over uh another good way to do it is kind of jump at that corner but that always that doesn't always work either uh it's it's one of those things that's kind of luck based as well so you just have to be very very good at how you do it so there we go we hopped on and then you got this ladder right here you can just hop up right there uh the next thing you want to do is you can do it on this side actually it's kind of difficult when you jump up you have to like jump on it and when it mantles kind of hold yourself there or it's going to throw you right over just like pull it back for a half a second and then you're up and right once you get here you want to run jump and you're on top of the building no grapples needed you are now on top of the turbine building now the next jump spot that i have for you is very specific to this part of the map however you can do it with uh, all the superstore areas so what you want to do is jump or the stone areas i mean the stone super whatever you want to call it all you want to do is jump on the coke machine right here the cola machine and then you turn and jump right there if i'm not wrong i don't even think you need to turn and jump you can just jump up but where it gets difficult is jumping across to this building so there's only one way on top of that building or so you thought so uh all they have to do is get on top of that building and then make their way over to that building to kill you so you need to make sure that you're watching all directions a lot of people really aren't smart enough to do this but it is something that's rather easy to do as long as it actually mantles like it's supposed to. So that one's very specific to the area that you're at. Uh, another one is going to be like these buildings over here. You can pretty much jump from each one to another. So right here, you come over here. You jump straight up on this, to be honest. Uh, very easy, very easy. You go to the top, and then you run, jump, and then it'll mantle you over. Uh, and then the next thing is jumping here. Uh, it, I don't think you can actually jump from there to there. It's it's way too far, in my personal opinion. You jump and you miss by a long shot. Uh, but that's okay. You guys learned my little trick on running up the rails and then jumping on top of the building anyway. Not a huge deal. However, this isn't much of a jump spot, but you can do this on pretty much any of the, uh, the buildings that are shaped like this. Uh, it's pretty difficult, so I'm not going to lie to you here. You have to line yourself up uh, through the gutter to find the windowsill then once you find the windowsill you slowly back off and you have to you have to catch it right at the right moment or it doesn't work so you slowly back off and then catch the window and then you're inside the building it's less of a jump spot more of a fall spot but that is a very 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 helpful one especially when they're like camping in the bathroom like in the corner like this or like this They'll have no idea, and you'll catch them off guard, and you just spray them down. Now, this next one, uh, again, is very specific to this part of the map. Uh, but you can either go up the ladder here, or uh, on this side right here, you see this little uh, garbage dump area. You jump right here, you run, you jump, and you go to the side, and you mantle over. Again, it's all about learning to strafe jump. Now, I do want to give you guys a quick heads up. Vehicle jumps are very, very important in this game. So take, for example, this building right here. Obviously, it has a dumpster, so you can do this right here anyway. Just jump on top, jump to the side, and jump up. However, uh, for the next building, you can't do that, right? So let's take our car over there real quick and show you how important vehicle jumps are. So you place the car here, you jump out, and then you jump to the back side, catch him off guard, and he's dead. 
Now the next area we're gonna be going over is a factory. Let's go ahead and hit factory real quick and just hit you with the knowledge that you need to take care of business here. Uh, obviously there's a ladder there. Who needs a ladder when you have a door? So you can just jump on top of the building without a ladder and just make your way up there real easy. The next one, probably the biggest one. Uh, I like to go up this ladder here, right? Make my way up, okay? Uh, now you can do this here to jump up top. It's really unnecessary because this is right here uh, And then what you want to do is get all the way up there, right? You're thinking oh, how do I get up there without a grapple? Well, Follow me. So right here you go up these Vents and then you go to the edge here and you follow the edge jump and mantle on top of that Then you get to the corner line it up run jump and jump to this corner and you're all the way up ladies and gentlemen you made it all the way to the top didn't have to use any of your grapples you saved your grapples for just in case your uh your glider doesn't pop and uh yeah it's just really useful the next place i'm going to show you is this place over here so instead of using the ladder to get on top of the building if you're inside the building you need to get up top and they're guarding the ladder what i like to do is make my way over here Open the door, jump on top of the door, and then jump up. Super simple, very, very easy, and actually kind of fun to do. Another factory jump spot would actually be to get on top of the jump up onto uh, the steel brace right here. Get right here and jump up this way. You don't actually have to go the back way to do that. Uh, you, can, you can do it from outside or you can do it from inside. Either way works very, very well. I'm not sure what other parts of the map this is going to help you at, uh, but a quick tip, you can just jump on top of these. Like you don't have to like hide inside and like hope that you're not going to die. You can literally just jump on top and spray down on people. Just, just a quick heads up. Our next jump spot is a little different. Uh, it's not at an actual like, I don't know, named place of the map. Uh, but it is very helpful now when you're on these rocks you think you can't get over to the people that are hiding up there But it's not true. You're on a rock and you can mantle the rocks So what you want to do is position yourself to where you have the highest high ground and go for the lowest low ground And it's easy you just mantle up. It's that simple I do that all the time and end up killing people like that. It's very very helpful all right, ladies and gentlemen, next we have the notorious ghost town, the most hated part of the map for me. I, I literally, I hate it with such a passion, but it does have some very, very good jump spots. So I'm going to be showing you guys those jump spots today. Um, the first one we're going to go ahead and hit is this one right here. You can jump on top of this building and then jump on top of this building just by doing that. Very easy, very simple. Uh, if you don't see where I'm at, I'm currently right here. Uh, very easy. Once again, you go to that part of the map. You jump here, jump here, make my way over, jump again, and I'm up. Now, uh, we can make our way over here. And if someone's guarding the stairs there, who needs to go through stairs? You have windows. You come around and you shoot them in the back. Um, you can also get to a lot of the other parts of the map. Heck, I think you can actually jump from that window to there, but you're not really going to use that at any point in time. However, something you will use is getting on top of this. So, you have to go at a little bit of an angle because you don't have enough mantle room for right here. So, you're ne probably never going to be able to jump straight up. As you see, it pulled me to the right again. Uh, but it's really hard to just like jump straight up. What I recommend is going at a little bit of an angle uh, But you can get a really good head glitch on people from here Our next jump spot is gonna be to get to the roof of this without going up the ladder All you have to do is have the door open and jump through the window Very simple one not a huge deal, but very helpful uh, Another one you can actually get on top of this building It has like a regular spot But if you don't want to go the regular way which is this right here and just mantle your way up mantle your way up You can do the little strafe jump that I taught you guys earlier to get on top now our last spot within ghost town uh, Is getting on top of this building uh, I'm not gonna show you anything underground just because underground it, it's just don't go underground uh, but there's really just not much there you can jump from rooftop to rooftop down there But it's not a huge deal. You just you literally just saw me do what I was gonna show you So all it is you get up top you strafe jump and you jump right there 
You walk your way up, so you don't have to use grapples. You walk your way up. You can either jump through this window. You can jump through this window. Uh, and then you're inside. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and hit Fracking Tower. Our next area is going to be right here. But let's go ahead and hit Fracking Tower and see if we can get every single jump spot within Fracking Tower that's going to be useful. So right here, you can get to the very top of the building, uh, the Frack building. Very, very simple. Not hard to do. You can do it from inside where you go up that, come over here. You can take the uh, walkway, catwalk. Uh, and then jump up here, or you can do it the way that I showed you from the outside. Uh, another thing is you can actually jump from here to inside the building. You can just jump the window, and you're in. Very simple as well. You don't have to open any doors. So if you're trying to be entirely silent and you have dead silence, uh, that's another really good one. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is this A1 building right here. The uh, most awful building in the whole game. So this building is a pain in the butt. If you know what you're doing, maybe not. So, what I like to do is know what I'm working with. So, these this building is uh, it's very camper friendly. So, if you have all these entryways, what do you do? Well, first things first, you can jump in from the outside. You can jump from here to here and jump in. Very, very easy. Another one is you go up the ladder because they're camping in the building and they won't leave. So you jump from here to there, if I know what I'm doing. Um, so you, you do that. Very easy, actually. If you don't suck. All right, there we go. So another one, you jump in straight through the window and you've got it again. Uh, you can actually drop down using the method I've shown you previously to get into this window from the rooftop as well. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is how to uh, take care of the C3 building. So, what you want to do is jump on this truck right here, jump on an angle, and then mount your way up onto the corner. Uh, you can then take this to get on top, or you can go inside. The next thing is jumping from here over to there, that way you're keeping high ground at all times. Now, previously, I've shown you how to use ladders properly uh, whenever they're short. But in this situation, you're going to make the ladder short by jumping over. So if you grab onto the ladder, just keep tapping X and make your way up. Now, if you're ever in a pickle, you can also use containers to get out of a situation. You probably didn't know that. Uh, you can literally just hide inside these containers and heal up while they're uh, right outside. A lot of people aren't smart enough to actually get inside. Uh, however, the orange one is a lot better because the blue one only has this much room inside and it also has a ladder that you can get into uh, rather than trying to mantle it. Little bonus jump right here. Um, this is very specific to this area, but it makes it pretty easy to win gunfights when you use this as a head glitch. Uh, so I like to use that, what I just showed you, where you jump up on this, turn, jump. You don't even actually have to turn. You just jump right at it. Uh, so you just use this as a head glitch if I'm not wrong You can actually jump from that corner to that corner. It's pretty difficult um, But you shouldn't really need it anyway because you can use the door right here You can also use the door on that one But if they're on this side, then that's how you're gonna do it I would just use this building as a head glitch uh, in this area next we have our little t little tower here um, Simply enough you can jump on this building. All you have to do is jump at it very very easy you can jump on top of this building just very simple very easy um if i'm not wrong you can actually just like corner jump to this you don't even have to do that you can do it here uh and get up if it'll let me i give up don't worry about it um but what i actually came to show you i showed you this earlier so it doesn't really matter uh what i what i came to show you is this right here so let's say uh they've got a guardian right here well, it doesn't matter because you can jump up at the window and dodge the guardian entirely. Let's say he's got the guardian placed right here. He's got the guardian placed right here. He's, he's watching the steps. So you don't even want to use the steps. You run and you jump at the corner and you hit that. And it's a lot easier. And you can just shoot him while he's sitting in that corner looking there. Um, a lot of people are going to probably end up using that on me because I usually end up using that tower uh, to get out of situations. But... If it works, it works. 
Our next jump is really one of the most difficult jumps and honestly, probably one of the most useful jumps. And it's this jump right here. It's very difficult to pull off, but if you can pull it off, it is super, super helpful. Um, you can actually use the fence as well to get up here. If the fence hasn't been broken, you can jump right at the corner and get up. Or the, the pole, I mean, to get up. So, very useful. Very, very useful. It's a little easier if you do it that way, but I like to do it at this area right here. Uh, it's just a little bit easier than the other pole. I don't know why. It just is. I think it's like where you're at on the, the level terrain or whatever it is um and then you can get right here you can get on top of the building i like to use the buildings for head glitches literally if i'm healing i just run in circles because my my character just constantly bobs over and over so right here we have another little area on the map uh there's just a a, a big cluster of buildings um a lot of these you can just jump straight up with a ladder very very simple not hard to do um, you can use the stairs to jump and like go sideways like to sideway jump or I don't know what I call it strafe jump I guess it's called um, To get on top of the buildings uh, a lot of them you can use the doors in this situation You can use the air conditioner to jump on top uh, It's a very simple area But you just have to know how to use head glitches in this area and that that's the that's the biggest thing is learning your head glitches in an area uh, to stay alive so put yourself in a situation to su succeed in these areas and you should be just fine all righty ladies and gentlemen sadly i'm gonna have to split this video into two parts stay tuned on the channel for part two we've got a ton of good jump spots coming coming very very soon um it's already recorded i just i was editing it down and we hit 30 minutes here and then the rest of the video is another 30 minutes and it ended up being i think an hour and five minutes which is absolutely crazy so do me a favor guys if you want to see a part two of this uh, two-part series I guess then please please do me a favor and drop the video a like subscribe if you're new around here and hit that notification bell that way you get notified every single time I post a video and or a live stream you can also join my discord links in the description down below as well as follow me on Twitter Instagram and on Facebook and on all three of those platforms I post every single day with absolutely insane clips either way thank you guys so much and I will catch you in the next one peace out